I gotta make this video quick because I have a lot of shooting to do. This is Slam, the TMP Titan. Been a workhorse in the project for a number of years. I have the hood up now because I'm gonna show you some wiring I did. And this video, a brief one, is gonna be how to make your truck lighting suck less. Now, if you have a newer model of truck, your headlights could be pretty excellent. Maybe HIDs, maybe the newer technology LEDs, which I really, really like. This is a 2011 model. It does not have that. And I've always thought the headlights are pretty bleak out here in the desert. I have upgraded the bulbs that helped a little bit, not much. And so my approach to fix this lighting issue out here in the dark desert, the dark woods, the mountains, places where I often frequent is to affix what you're looking at right here, additional exterior lighting, but not just any lighting. You see, because I went through several iterations before I arrived at what I did, top bumper mounted Baja Designs lights. These are the Squadron Pros, and man, are they awesome. Really excellent lighting. And so this isn't really me showing you how I did the project. I think that would be boring. Uh, it was a big project. It took one whole day to design it, install it. I did all the work myself, but I'm gonna give you an idea for your vehicle, maybe your car, maybe your truck. So if we're gonna talk philosophy of use, it is to uh, obviously drive out of stuff like this, see where we're going, and also to spot game. Um, I'm not really a hunter, but to avoid deer, I think these peripheral lights are really important. These outboard lights are actually aimed, like this one's kind of aimed this way, and this passenger side one is aimed a little bit to the right, and that helps me spot game, or at least potential, you know, roadkill. Uh, I'm gonna roll in footage as I'm driving, show you what these lights look like at night. I wanted to film this while there was some light out here so you can see the wiring and uh, you know the install. Now, talking to POU. Yeah, spotting game, driving out. Another huge advantage of having these lights is to function as shooting lights because oftentimes we're weapon testing out here and by having the Baja designs, all I have to do is pull up the truck behind the shooter and it floods the whole area with light. Probably out to 100 yards, easy, that you can see what's going on, these lights. They are amazing. Uh, I did not arrive to these lights uh, by chance. It took a lot of research, a lot of trial and error. I, um, I actually installed and got off of, uh, heck, I think it was Amazon, another lighting system that I just was not happy with you can see some marks on my bumper there, and it is from that earlier install. It kind of marred up the bumper a little bit, or the grill, whatever. It's a truck. I didn't like them. I couldn't adjust them. They weren't that bright. They didn't have the throw. They were priced good, but I basically uninstalled them, sent them back. One of them I just threw in the garbage, the center-mounted one that used to be right here. I'll show you pictures of that ins installation as well. Um, they, they just were subpar. Um, so weapon illumination I should say target illumination is a huge reason I have these on here it just makes things go quicker we don't have to dick around with batteries outfitting it to the guns it, it just works now some of you guys will say why didn't you install a light bar on the top here uh, and there's a couple reasons for that one I don't like how they look uh, I don't like how they ruin the vehicle's aerodynamics. Uh, I think I'm already getting bad mileage with this. This gets with these mud tires on there about 13 and a half miles a gallon. Uh, I don't dig it. Uh, I don't necessarily want to drive around town looking like, you know, some Baja rig. That's not a look I want. I want something low key and first cool. We're talking functional. And so as I thought about the install, I figured the the best way to do it is to put it close to where the manufacturer puts the lighting so i started thinking well how can i mount it so it's close to that line that's perfect it aligns with the vehicle light and that's how i come up with the bumper by the way this is clear broad if you're seeing right this right here 
it saved the paint on this uh, many times as we go busting through this brush and stuff on occasion. I'm super happy with the location. And I'm super happy with the idea uh, that I came up with to have three individual lights. Each one, like I mentioned earlier, can be pointed in its own direction. Talked about the outboard. This is a center light. So that will flood the center. And each of these is wired, as you will see, individually. So I can turn them all off. I can turn each one on individually. User selectable. Massively helpful. Now, this is a urethane covered bumper underneath is steel. The disadvantage of that is you will drill through. Let me see if I can show you the install on at least one of these. Uh, it's cramped under. I don't know if I can get the camera under here. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna turn the light on on my camera and I'm just gonna see if you can see it. <laughs> I don't know if you can. Okay, so we're coming up under here. You might be able to see that. Uh, this is a good time to look at my wiring too. So I used the thickest gauge wiring I could get away with. I didn't want it to be, you know, crazy. Uh, that is the stock harness to the Baja Designs. I tied into that. It, also, it is quick releasable. In other words, it's a quick disconnect if I want to change it out for a different type of Baja Designs light. These are combo lights. That is, they have a spot function and also a flood function. And I don't know if you're seeing <laughs> anything useful there. <laughs> Sorry, it's just cramped. Uh, take it from me though, you drill through the bumper cover um, and then you'll tighten it up. Kind of a hassle to do. I'm not gonna say anything on this project is easy. It's difficult. All cool things are difficult usually. The bumper cover will have to be kind of compressed because you want this really solid. As I'm bounced along here in the desert, you just, obviously you don't want it to come loose. And that other one I mounted, if I can think of the brand name, I'll show you, I'm sure I can find it, I'll show you an annotation what it was. They were coming loose. They just vibrate and all over the map. And the only way I could adjust the up and down on the previous lights were to undo that bolt. And it was a hassle. Uh, I'm gonna try again to show you this bolt where it's at. You can probably see that, right? See it? Uh, there it is right there. So that's the bolt to the outboard Baja Designs. I wrote the size on it to remind me what end wrench it takes. I've only had to tighten these ones once on these Baja Designs. That's pretty cool. And all that loosening will do is change your left and right aiming function and on the Baja Designs lights as I've ran them on my motorcycles and interestingly enough to make your motorcycle lighting suck less it's the same light the Baja Designs going up and down is right here just put your hex key in there adjust it as you need to crank it down and it stays put the best way to adjust these lights is in the fog if you can have a foggy night, adjust them, you can see the beam or take it out like I have out here and it'll be this way tonight. I'll be out here till at least till midnight tonight. Pitch black dark and then you can see where your beam is. You might be wondering, are these DOT approved? Would I drive on the road with them? Um, I don't think technically they are. They're meant as off-road lights. I do use this one on the road on occasion. Like I'm in a mountain area watching for game, I'll turn this passenger side one on. These two I don't because they'll blind oncoming drivers. Speaking of which, let me tell you how bright these things are. Damn, they are extremely bright. And I'll put the output numbers and anything else I can find in annotation right here. Amazing. I, I was actually, and maybe your truck is this way no matter what brand it is, I was actually hoping to find something that would go in here this module that I can mount in here, much a cleaner install, I couldn't find it. This is basically a, a driving fog light. It's worthless. And, you know, it comes on, you know, it's just hokey. I hate it. So mounted it, drilling through the steel, wiring it is a pain in the butt. Each one of these has a wire running underneath the bumper cover, zip tied. I drilled into the plastic and zip tied it. So it would be a clean install. I'm very particular about that everything's going to be professional you know high quality installation otherwise I will not do it and here we start looking under the hood so here's my wires coming from each of these lights 
So this one's coming right here. It joins this one coming right here, comes right here, and then they come up through here. Okay, you with me? And everything is, uh, I said quick detach, but it's not like soldered in. So again, if I wanna change the lights out, I can. The Baja Design lights come with a very excellent harness you might choose to use. I opted to build my own wiring kit on this particular installation, but if you're just putting one or two lights in, you might think about that. Wires come up through here. You can see the gauge of wire I used. Everything zip tied. And they are not hardwired directly to the battery. A couple reasons for this. Um, I don't want them hardwired to the battery because if they're accidentally bumped on, especially out here in the desert in the daytime, you might find yourself with a dead battery. So I wired in yet another. It's a Blue Sea brand and I'll put the annotation uh, in the link below of Amazon is where I get these. These are meant for boats and it's a fuse box, a fuse distribution box. What you have to do is look up how to wire a relay and my relay is that I installed. Forgot where I put it. It's around here somewhere. But my relay, here it is right here. So my relay is actually, the turn on power comes from this fuse box. I put a multimeter on there, found one of the, and I can't open it because I'm zip tied to it. And I just found a, you know, one of the fuses that when you turn 12 volt power on, it, it comes on positive. That's what this little red wire is right here. And I actually label it. It's my 12 volt positive turn on. It goes to the relay. And that will feed 12 volt power to the fuse box. All my lights, one, two, three are here. There's its label, there's your passenger, there's your center, there's your driver's side lights for the Baja Designs. And this is out, so this comes in and then it feeds out to the switches. Now you can see the looming and my zip tie feed coming, oh sorry, I'm not filming that well, there you go. The looming and the zip tie feed going through the firewall. This is gonna be a problem with most modern trucks. If you have an older truck, it'll be much easier. Modern trucks have a lot of feeds, a lot of insulation, a lot of sound deadening, and you gotta find a way to feed this thick wire bundle through. And it actually is a six wire bundle, as you can see. The solution I came up with, is anyone still watching this, by the way? I, don't, I doubt it, is, I gotta get under here. Mm, I'm kinda of in a ditch right here, so. I don't know if I can show you that well. I'll do my best. I think I can. Where is it? So here it is right here. So it's behind this plastic fender liner and you'll see my wire bundle come in right here. See this? Am I filming that good? So that is the wire bundle coming through here and I had to drill right in through my firewall. And I, I wanted to waterproof it and I think I did a pretty good job. And so I got this run of hard rubber tubing that's grommeted. This goes into my firewall. It is zip tied as a drip relief. So if water comes in, I go through, do a water crossing. The water will actually hit here and drip down the zip tie and it's also siliconed. It's zip tied on the other side. I have looming here too to protect the wiring from chafing. Anyways, that's that. And it was a pain in the butt to install. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That wiring bundle comes up through here. You know how I tell you TMPers all the time I'm doing projects? This is just a little inside of one of the projects I've done. There it is right there. And again, that's silicone, so that can't, there's no water that can penetrate through there. I feed this up through the backside of the dash of the Titan, and then it's gonna exit on the driver's side. Now, don't get hung up on the details. Your install could be different, but this will give you an idea of one way to do it. And then you see my wire bundle coming out here. See it? Pull that key out. And then it feeds right into my switches, which are drilled into and installed in the dash right there. So to turn them on, it's down for the Baja Design lights. Told you each one is individual, each one is fused separately because of the Blue Sea fused box that I showed you. 
that accomplishes a, a fusing process for you very cleanly. And if I want to install some more switched on devices to the truck, I just tie them into the fuse box. Simple Simon. That's it. That's the install right there. Um, again, pain in the butt, and I will tell you, not cheap. These lights are expensive, uh, very expensive. Each one's $200 plus. So if you want to install these um, on a motorcycle, on your car, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, and look how small they are. Most people don't even notice it until they come upon it. And they go, well, what is that? And it's like, oh, it's Baja Designs lights. You can mount them underneath. Um, I don't recommend that because that's one reason I film this in this little mini ditch I'm in because if I mount them underneath here they're more susceptible to getting hit by terrain more susceptible to getting chipped by rocks they can, they can come with covers I recommend getting the covers uh, I love where they are where they are right now again your truck could be totally different but look creatively and, and look at how they can adapt to different angular or rounded surfaces for aiming I'm pretty happy with it that's it. I'm going to show you uh, images of what these look like when they're driving out in the desert. And I'll show you images uh, with just the stock truck lights. And then when these Baja design lights come on. Get to it. Improve your truck lighting if you need it. If you don't come out to places like this, you probably don't need it. Don't waste your money. Um, but if you go off-road, go in the out-of-doors, and you do a lot of things uh, out-of-doors like shooting like we do, Eh, something to think about. Not a fancy project. Got to get to work. How to make your truck lighting suck less. See ya.